Hey, what is up you guys? It's Mandy here. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are have been watching my channel for a while, welcome back. Um, today I'm filming a get ready with me Q&A. Now, I was going to film this earlier in the day when it was like, you know, like light outside, but I didn't wake up until 4 p.m. and I've been like really depressed lately, so <laughs> here we are, 11 p.m. filming a video, but that's okay. I wanted to film it because I was starting to get sad and I was like, I need to do something that makes me not so sad. So I'm gonna film this video and feel accomplished and feel good about it. So, um, a lot of you were asking me questions on my Instagram. I did like a poll um, where I asked you guys um, if I should do a get ready with me. The majority of you said yes. There's only one person who said no and you know who you are if you're watching this. Go away. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's fine. I'm fine. We're still filming it, so it doesn't matter. Hmm. Um, if you hear my cat meowing, it's because she's pissed off that she's not in here because I don't let her in here with me when I film because she drives me nuts. So I'm actually going to let her in the bedroom real quick with my husband. Here we are filming this, and we're just going to go ahead and dive on in, I guess. Okay. This is set up really funky. Um, I usually have to film on my makeup box, but I'm filming on boxes that I got from the cable company. So, <laughs> we're doing this. Okay, I'm just gonna start out by putting Elf's Poreless Putty Primer on my face. Um, this is actually my favorite primer, honestly, and it's really non-expensive. It's pretty affordable for the people like me who are um, poor and can't always afford name brand stuff. Um, they sell it at Ulta for like eight bucks, I think. It's my favorite. It's really great. I like the way the texture and everything. It's nice and good. I stick my finger in there and we're good to go. Okay. I realize that that's not the video that we're doing, but it's fine. I really can't multitask all that well because I have like early onset dementia, I swear I do, so like I forget what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, don't know what that's about, but it's fine. <laughs> We're gonna do it anyway. Coat my face because it's dry. Oh my god. Well, it's not like dry dry, I just did not moisturize properly today. Because I didn't wake up until 4pm and then I didn't take a bath until like 9pm, so here we are. I'm gonna put on my rose water facial mist because it's really good and I like it. It says it's good for refreshing and hydrating your skin and it's dermatologist tested. I actually need to get some more. I'm almost out. But this is at Ulta. Um, it's... <laughs> I just tossed it through the room. This? Emtrap. No, stop it! Oh my god! Emtrap. No, stop it! I have Parkinson's, I swear. Um, they sell it at Ulta. It's pretty cheap, I believe. So, like maybe 10 bucks? I don't, I'm not sure. I don't really remember, but it's my favorite and it smells really, really good. I love spraying it on my face before I do my makeup because it's good and hydrating and we need that. We need all that we can get. Should I do my eyebrows? My eyebrows are microbladed, but like. I don't know. We're here for the video, I guess, so fuck it. Maybe we should talk about the products I use while I'm doing this. <laughs> okay, we all know for eyebrow stuff, I use Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's my favorite. The pomade and the dip brow, I use the shade Dark Brown. Obviously, I have dark ass hair, so it helps a lot. I'm just gonna brush up, like, the hairs a bit, even though they're already in place, because my eyebrows are microbladed, but that's I really need to get some more of this because I've had it for literally like two years, but that's fine. I need to get into the questions now because I've been sitting here for a moment. Okay, my friend Anna, who's been in multiple of my videos. She asked me several questions. First one is, what do you do when you're feeling down and what helps? Um, like I said, I do this. Um, I've been feeling really down lately, so I wanted to make videos and do things that make me happy. Uh, if I don't do makeup, I'll usually 
like draw. Um, I like to paint a lot. I paint a lot better than I draw. We all know I like to paint portraits of animals. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's on my Instagram. Um, I've painted portraits of loved ones animals that have passed. Um, I painted a portrait of Anna's dogs actually for her birthday. Um, she really loved it. I was really excited to do that for her because she had been talking about how she wanted a portrait of them for literally forever. Um, and Sydney looks good in it. Trevor looks kind of funky because the way he was in the picture he looked funky but they're also weird dogs so they make weird faces so they can turn out like the best. <laughs> I also found out recently that uh, I like to cook, which is rare because literally all throughout me growing up, my mom always tried to get me to cook with her and I literally hated it. I would like shove my way out of the kitchen as much as I could and my mom would always be like, you need to learn how to cook or you're gonna starve. And I was like, yeah, whatever mom. But like, no, she was right. Like I, <laughs> I live with my husband now and we have to, you know, cook food because we don't have money to go out, like we're poor. Um, so yeah, I have learned actually that I like cooking a lot. Um, I make a lot of Italian oriented food. I don't want to call it Italian Italian food because I'm not Italian. I don't know how to cook like that, but I make a lot of pasta. Like the other night I made a chicken parmesan. I posted a photo of it on my Facebook and everybody said it looked great. So. his dip brow mm, looking saucy I don't know why I'm filming this video at literally like 11 p.m. when all I'm gonna do after this is take this off and go to bed but that's okay we're making progress and that's all that matters I also think I'm gonna try to do a new thing with my makeup while I'm doing this I doubt it's gonna happen because I'm lazy and I'm not going anywhere so I don't want to like get too crazy with it but I don't know we'll see I might take some pictures after this if it's decent enough I'm pretty picky though we'll see let's see what was I talking about oh the chicken yeah so I made chicken parm the other night and then I'm sorry I'm getting like way close to the camera but it's because my mirror is behind the camera so I'm doing the best I can I don't have things set up right yet um if you want to buy me a tripod, mm, that'd be great. We're poor. <laughs> For um, everybody else's sake, I don't know if they want to be exploited on the internet. Anna doesn't care, obviously. She's been in my videos. But uh, for everybody else, I don't want to uh, put their names out there on the internet. My other friend asked me, she asked me how my back is doing. Um, many of you may know my back is actually really messed up. Like, I was... <laughs> story time I was um, enlisted into the military the Marine Corps and um, I was getting ready to leave for a boot um, and then my back and my leg um, completely decided they just didn't want to be a part of my body anymore like they just didn't want to function together I don't I don't know why my body's messed up but um anyway I found out like through testing and stuff like I've had x-rays and MRIs all that good stuff um, and they were like I don't know we can't find anything we can't find anything we can't find anything um, and then they sent me to physical therapy and they said something about uh, my sciatic nerve is messed up and they also said that I walk funny um, so which I've heard before by multiple people multiple people have told me that I walk with a limp or like I walk with my left foot kind of like crooked or whatever 
um, and I've never noticed it personally but um, I can feel it when I walk like it's not normal <laughs> like my physical therapist used to make fun of me because uh, when I would walk on the treadmill because that's what they would have me do for like warm-ups or like jog on it or whatever when I got to that point um, they'd be like um you're walking funny why do you walk like that and I'm like I don't freaking know like <laughs> it's just like I don't know I'm not the doctor here you tell me I'm sorry that was really sassy and I just messed up my whole eyebrow that's what I get for being sassy <laughs> by the way this is not sponsored but the mini packs of Neutrogena makeup wipes um these are so much better than like the big packs of wipes because first of all they're gigantic and they're little packs and they smell they smell really good like I don't know what they put on these but they smell really good um, and they're really nice um, and I really like using them better than the normal ones so yeah if you're looking to buy makeup wipes Neutrogena packs the small ones are where it's at I bought these at Walmart um, in the travel aisle and they were really cheap so if you need makeup wipes does that look better i don't know i don't really care i'm not here for that <laughs> okay that's good enough for me right now they're not perfect but i don't care because i'm not going anywhere so it's whatever um like i was saying though about my back so i do walk funny and all that other stuff um i graduated physical therapy a few months ago um basically you're there for your well depending on where you are like in what stage you're in and how much pain you have all that stuff you you can be there for months at a time so i was there from february until about may um so yeah i was there for a really long time <laughs> um uh i was very tired of it very quickly um, physical therapy is painful. It doesn't feel good. Uh, none of it feels good ever um, Except for sometimes when they like massage the parts that hurt That's the only thing that feels good and sometimes even that hurts. So yeah, no not fun at all, but um, Yeah, so apparently there's a part of my spine that pinches my sciatic nerve if you don't know what the sciatic nerve if you don't know what the sciatic nerve is it's a nerve that runs down um, from the base of your spine it can run through um, it can run through no it runs down the base of your spine um, through your butt and to down your leg um, so I had that pain for a really long time uh, I felt a little better after physical therapy um, I started taking Cymbalta which is for people with chronic pain, it's a pain inhibitor, not a painkiller. Um, it's a pain inhibitor, so it can't be, like you can't get addicted to it or anything like that. Um, so I was on that, which I mean, I guess it helped, but at the same time, it's hard to tell. With medication like that can be kind of tricky. Um, so that's a whole nother story. Uh, but lately, for the past couple months or so, my back has been popping in spots that I don't think it's supposed to pop um, and the base of my back where my hips start to form the bone down there um, it feels like a giant bruise so I should probably go get that checked out I probably need to get um, another x-ray possibly another MRI which I just don't want to do because they're not fun and I don't like getting more bad news and I really don't want to be sent back to physical therapy I know it's gonna help but I really really hate it <laughs> so I just need to suck it up and do what I gotta do so as far as my back is going I can't really tell you I have been in a lot of pain for a long time so part of it just gets um, signaled out like after a while you just become kind of numb to it you don't really you don't really like feel it anymore uh so there's that so i don't have a solid answer for you uh i wish i did um but i probably need to go back to the doctors <laughs> i was gonna re do a review on this a long time ago it's the morphe eye primer um I really like it. It's in the shade translucent. It looks like, hold on, let me see if I can get it on camera. No, it's 
I'm gonna go. Focus. Hello. Oh, you're kidding. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. It's like a nude, nude color. Needless to say, I need to go see a doctor, but I just moved. If you see my last video, you know I just moved. Um, so I don't have a doctor here yet. I have to look and um, that's something I'm not excited about doing. <laughs> I'm not the, the greatest at taking care of myself because I could just care less at times, which is not a good trait to have. Maybe I'll go old school and do like a brown shade. Whatever. I'll do whatever the hell I want because I can. <laughs> My other friend asked, uh, how have I been mentally? That is a tough question to answer. I'm not even really sure how to go about answering that honestly. Um, I've had a rough, rough time lately. So I'm kind of working through some things to say the least. Um, I haven't been taking uh, my medication obviously because I just moved and I don't have a doctor here yet to refill it. Um, so I'm going to do that. The medication I was on uh, is Cymbalta. It's known uh, to be used for people who have chronic pain, which would be me, pain every day of my life. Um, it's a pain inhibitor, not a painkiller, so it's not very addictive, um, but is also used to treat people with anxiety and depression, and I haven't taken it in a while. Um, and that's been kind of affecting me, honestly. Wow, I do not why did I do this? I don't know what I'm doing. Um, it's been kind of affecting me and I didn't realize it until literally today that um, if you stop taking it, um, it can result in suicidal thoughts or tendencies. Um, and I've been really struggling lately. <sighs> lately, um, I know I need to be serious, but I'm also trying to do this so I don't cry for being too serious um but uh, lately i've been struggling a lot um with depression um my anxiety hasn't been great either my depression has been really bad though uh like today um like i said earlier i slept until 4 p.m which um is not okay or healthy that's the latest i've slept in um being depressed and it, i need to stop doing that because it's not helping anything um i wish that i could sit here and say that i feel good or great or better oh wow that looks whoa sis we need to fix that um but i can't honestly sit here and say that i do if I don't, um, and I don't, I don't like talking about my problems, um, that's a really big problem that I have, um, even, like, my loved ones, my friends, my husband, like, they all know, like, I'm horrible at talking about my feelings, um, never been good at it, uh, because I was raised to just not do that, um, and, I want to take a minute to say uh, the way you were raised shouldn't affect the way uh, you are now. You know, every person is capable of change. Um, and it's not okay to act the same way all the time. I want you to know that. Um, so, I don't know. It's just been a roller coaster of emotion lately. Um, couple months ago no not a couple months ago last month I relapsed uh, for those of you who don't know about me I have struggled with self-harm since for let's see since I was about 12 13 so and it's been ongoing for um, six seven years now um, that I've had a serious problem with it. Um, it's been off and on, um, and a lot of people don't know that, and I don't like talking about it because I don't like to endorse it. I don't like to be like, 
oh hey you have a problem like it's okay to hurt yourself it's not um it's not a healthy way to cope um it's not a good way to deal with anything really um and i need people to understand that um i do it because i feel like when i don't have control of my life that's the only thing i can do to control it and that's a serious serious problem i have um it's unhealthy and it's not okay at all um and i don't endorse it as a way of thinking i don't endorse it um for being an escape it's not none of that is okay and i don't want other people to resort to that either i've also been struggling with um eating um and i've had an eating disorder since i can remember um it's never been great because um growing up uh i would be like oh well i haven't ate all day and that was considered like okay like it was like oh you haven't ate all day like that's not okay but like mm, i'm not gonna like be mad at you for it which uh isn't good either so um i don't know it's just hard to describe these things i don't even Ooh, we're getting deep i did not want to get this deep um but yeah it's not okay it's not healthy um, so needless to say, I am trying to find a doctor, sorry, I was like sponged the whole time, I didn't realize, I'm trying to find a doctor here, um, that will take my insurance, uh, we have military insurance, so usually they will take it, but sometimes they make you, like, pay crazy amounts for medical bills, because, mm, that's military insurance for you, but they don't treat you right, I swear, um, so yeah. That is what I've been dealing with. What even am I doing? I look like a crazy person. Oh gosh, okay. I don't even look good with brown eyeshadow. This is not cute. <laughs> but anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying. I got all sidetracked. I'm making a mess. I wanted this to be like a lighthearted video. And I realize it's just not being that because um that's not where i am right now which i'm trying to do better but like i said i'm trying to find a doctor here uh wow i'm just making this look way worse that's fine this is why i don't wear brown i don't know what the fuck i'm doing with it i only wear colors um i'm trying to find a doctor here that'll take my insurance all the good stuff um so i'm also trying to look into therapy because my friends and family have recommended it to me um, and I think it's probably a good idea. I've gone through a lot of shit throughout my life and it's probably stuff that I should talk about and not hold inside. Okay, sorry about that guys. My camera decided to be a jerk and overheat in the middle of a serious moment. But um, anyway, uh, what I wanted to tell you guys, um, so I've been struggling a lot lately with my depression. Um, I do want to note though, um, I don't have diagnosed depression. That's really important to say um, because some people are like, oh, well you have depression so it might be diagnosed. No, it's not diagnosed. Uh, I just want you to know that. Um, I struggle with it personally. I've struggled with it for years. Like I said, I have a lot of shit that I still just haven't worked through that I thought that I worked through but I apparently didn't that I am still struggling with personally and working on. So um, my friends and family suggested I go see a therapist. So I'm working on doing that. Um, and I hope honestly that it helps. Um, I'm really, it's really hard for me honestly to talk to people about my feelings even my family and friends even just talking to my husband it's like really hard for me to be honest and open and I don't really know why um 
I've been like that since literally ever. So I'm just not sure. I guess I just don't know my feelings at their full capacity, which it could honestly be true, you know? I just don't know anymore. Um, and I think it's a good idea for me to talk to a, a professional that knows what they're talking about. Um, because I don't know. I can't, uh, I can't determine it myself because I honestly don't know. Um, I'm not a therapist. Um, there are some things that I just can't seem to get through by myself. And there are things that I have issues talking about with other people. And honestly, that's pretty common for me. Uh, as sad as it is, I just have issues with talking to people about my problems. So, I don't know, we'll see if I can do that and get that figured out. I obviously don't have things set up right now, because like I said, I just moved here. Like, I don't even have a doctor here yet, so I have to start researching online and doing all that fun stuff that I don't like to do, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna figure it out. Also, you're probably confused to what the hell is on my eyelids, so off camera I decided that I didn't want to keep the brown on my face anymore because I literally destroyed it and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I just wanted to put this red on really badly because I haven't used it yet. Wow, that's really been my motto lately. Like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I'm gonna figure it out. Mm, yeah, that's been hard as hell lately. So, yeah, like I said, I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna see um, how I do with it. I honestly just don't want to have another relapse again it's not fun going through that because it doesn't only like hurt and affect you it hurts and affects the other people who love you because you know they don't want to see you like that they don't want to see you struggling they don't want to see you literally harming yourself because you don't know how to handle things last night i literally bawled my eyes out for no reason and i just I don't know, man. Like, I, I'm, i like, at wit's end here. Because, like, I just don't know, like, what I'm going to do. Like, I felt... Wow, this video really took a turn. But, I don't know. I just felt, like, worthless. I felt like I couldn't do anything right. I felt a lot of crazy emotions that I just didn't want to feel and it was really hard um, dealing with all that and I am although I was dealing with all that I am proud of myself for not um, hurting myself last night because I really really wanted to give up so badly um, but I, I promised myself um, and my husband and my friends that I just was gonna be better and hopefully I can stick to that because it's been it's been really hard also want to work on getting back on my medication because it's obviously affecting me that I'm not on it um, so I definitely need to get back on that as soon as I can um, find a regular doctor, get my x-rays and MRIs done, uh, talk to a therapist, stay on meds, everything like that. I even switched my birth control because sometimes it really messes with your hormones. Um, so I'm trying, I I have NERX, I'm not sponsored I swear, but uh, it's the app where you can order your birth control online um, and it's a real pharmacist, um, real doctor and they you give them all your information and they prescribe to you what they think is best. So I'm having that sent on my way. Wow, I just realized that um, I'm trying to do a QA, and a get ready with me, but um, I literally just keep talking about my life. Ooh. Well, this video got really deep, so I couldn't really help it. Wow, this doesn't look that bad, I don't think. I don't know. Hold on, I need the light. But. I don't know. Tell me if you like that. If you don't,
tell me that too. If you think it looks like shit, that's okay. I'm gonna add some stuff to it though so it looks a little better. Now I'm kind of like sad that I'm not going anywhere because I'm over here doing this makeup that I've never tried before and now I ain't going nowhere. That's okay though. I'll probably take some pictures of it. It's good enough for me. Not a picky woman, I swear. Like, I'm so simple. Should I put glitter on that? Maybe, we'll talk about it. Let's see, I need wing eyeliner. Hey, stop Rocky. Let's get to it. I'm supposed to be answering my questions. So yeah, there's lots to how I'm doing mentally. There you are. We're working on it. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, I can't stand this eyeliner. It doesn't want to open. Okay, I'm gonna like pause for a minute and then come back to answer questions because putting on eyeliner is a lot for me. Two hours later. Okay, we're back. Um, I really like fucked up my eyeliner like six times and then I was gonna put lashes on but then forgot that I don't have any lash glue so here we are okay anyway we're moving on okay next question is why did I move so far away and am I enjoying it so far like I was saying um, we moved here because my husband's job is here um, they moved my husband here from California after his schooling um, to do his job here um, I don't hate it here. Everybody here is actually really, really nice. People in Virginia are much better than people in Indiana. Um, and that's just a solid fact. People in Indiana are assholes, and I'm not really sure why. But um, all the people here are really, really nice. Uh, we haven't had any problems with anybody since we've been here. Like, everybody here has been so nice to us. Like, nobody's been a dick yet. So I'm just like... Hmm, when's that gonna wear off? Hmm. Mm. But no, seriously, everybody here, super sweet, super great, love it. I love that. But um, the only thing that I don't like about living here is the fact that uh, we can't go to the ocean. Um, and you're probably like, oh my god, yeah, you can go to the ocean, what are you talking about? Like, yes, there are people here that go to the ocean. They go a lot, they go frequently. Um, me and my husband, however, we don't go because apparently there was a flesh-eating parasite. <laughs> I'm not sure how true this is, but like, that's what I'm going with. And apparently there was a flesh-eating parasite um, on the East Coast, and the last place where it was spotted was in New Jersey. Um, so my husband is like, please do not get in the water, like, you don't need that. Like, and he's right, I don't need any more shit in my life. Like, I have enough shit with my body already. Um, I definitely don't need a fucking flesh-eating parasite on top of it. So yeah, that's the only, like, shitty thing about living here. The only thing that I'm not happy about. Next question, what is my favorite makeup brand? Um, that's a toughie. I feel like I have a couple um, that I use quite frequently. I obviously love 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 morphe they are my absolute favorite brand um that i've ever had um they're pretty i don't want to say cheap but i guess they kind of are they're pretty cheap for uh us people out there who don't have a lot of money to spend on makeup and i salute them for that um i really appreciate them for that um because it's really hard <laughs> to spend all your money on makeup. It's not easy, nor is it fun. So, well, I mean, like, it is fun. Like, I love buying makeup, but um, at the same time, I don't love the price of it. Sometimes it's, like, does not make me happy. Also, I know my foundation makes me look really pale. This is making me look really pale because this is my winter shade, and I don't have a summer shade. So, <laughs> Here we are. Also, I'm naturally just like very red in the face. I have very like weird complexion. Like, um, yeah, like I can be pale at times, obviously. Look at my damn foundation. But um, at the same time, I have uh, really like red skin. Um, I don't know where the hell I get it from. 
uh, it's just always been like that since I was younger so I have like really red cheeks all the time and people always ask me they're like oh my god like are you sick like no that's just my fucking face I can't do anything about it <laughs> like leave me alone please like even in school when I would do my makeup people would be like or when I didn't do my makeup, people would be like, oh my god, like you look really sick. And I'm like, it's just my fucking face. Like, I can't do anything about it. Like, I'm sorry, you don't like my face. Um, sometimes I don't like it either, so we're in the same boat. I really love Morphe. Um, I also really love Tarte. I have Tarte concealer, um, and I also have their foundation. And I love it so freaking much. It is my favorite. It's the only concealer and foundation I've used that's been like pretty much my skin tone. Um, it's really hard when you're like a pale sister and like the only fucking like makeup companies they say they make poor slip foundation but really it makes you look like a fucking carrot. Like no, it's not easy. So uh, yeah, Tarte, I commend y'all for making good foundation. Thank you for the pale sisters. I also really like Anastasia Beverly Hills and like that girl is not cheap but um I do like their products a lot. Obviously I use their dip brow. I also use their bronzer in shade rosewood. I use this bad boy all the time. It's my favorite bronzer that I have used besides um the drugstore brand. I also use their highlighter and it is my favorite fucking highlighter. I believe in videos before I ranted and raved about how good it is and like seriously it's fucking good. Like if you want to be a highlighted sister like that's the highlighter for you. It's fucking great. Besides like Wet n Wild. Oh my fucking god. Wet n Wild got their shit right girl. Like I used to be a drugstore bitch and at times I still am but when I can be when I can splurge I like to be a bougie bitch another question what is my favorite part of my makeup routine that's that's a toughie I don't really know honestly I think I really like doing my skin um, like because doing my skin just like transforms me into a totally different person like a bronze goddess and I'm actually about to put my bronzer on right now <laughs> um I really like putting my bronzer on <laughs> it's like a fun part of my life um I also really love applying highlighter um those of you that know me um I'm a highlighting fucking whore like I love it I love putting on bronzer and I love highlighting. I also love working with different eyeshadows um, just because like that's the fun part of makeup like looking different and um, trying different things uh, that's the fun shit. I really love um, trying different makeup products for the first time. Oh my god it can be like interesting but it can also be terrifying so <laughs> I don't know it's like an interesting journey makeup is. I also love throwing on like a red lip when I get the chance. I like never do um, eye makeup that fits a red lip um, just because I like really colorful eye makeup looks. Like I'm obsessed with doing it. Nobody asked but my least favorite would probably be like, oh my god, like doing my eyebrows. That's literally why I got my eyebrows microbladed because I don't like doing them. I can't contour my nose to save my life because my nose is actually crooked. Um, so I don't like doing that. <laughs> I just kind of like skip it and I wear glasses all the time anyway and hope and pray that no one notices. Maybe someday I'll get like a nose job, who knows. I hate doing eyeliner and I hate doing my eyebrows. For sure. I also don't like putting on mascara. Like I like putting mascara on my top lashes but not my lower because uh, whenever I put mascara on my lower lashes uh, it gets literally all over the fucking place and really pisses me off. Okay, my absolute dream job, money aside. Um, man, that's a hard question. Honestly, I'd probably do this. <laughs> or like 
have my own makeup brand or something like that. Like I love creating videos. I think it is really fun. It's also kind of like my outlet of like therapy. Uh, this is like my therapy session that I have with myself all the time. So I think it's really fun and really great. I also like being really creative. Um, like I really like art. Um, I like painting a lot, like I said earlier. Um, I like doing all that stuff. Probably also I learned recently that I really like to cook. So um, I don't know, if I could like do that for a living that'd be pretty cool. Cause I've heard a lot from a lot of people, they really like my food. <laughs> so um, yeah, basically anything where I'm like creating, being productive, working hard, um, and having just a good old dandy time, like that sounds like a dream job to me. I love creating, I love being creative, it's really fun. Ah, oh, okay, uh, what do I want my next pet to be? That's the next question. Um, I actually was just thinking about this today, and I think I like really want a wiener dog for some reason. I just want like an old wiener dog that is like, because I think they're really cute. Also, um, I have a kitten, and like she doesn't like animals that are much bigger than her. So if I had a wiener dog, I could probably get away with it, and they'd probably become best friends. And I think wiener dogs are just damn adorable for some reason. I don't know why I think they're so cute. I, like, I just don't, <laughs> I don't get it. Um, also, I just fucked up my nose. Do you see what I did there? Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I think they're adorable and I would love to have one. I think I just love having small animals. Like I do love big animals as well. But for me personally, I feel like small animals are more uh, manageable in a sense. Like I'm not really sure how to describe it, but um, I don't know. Also, like they're little and cute like babies, I guess. And it kind of like cures my baby fever so like we have stairs and like if i saw a fucking little wiener dog just like running up the stairs like that would make my day every fucking day also to like have somebody that my cat can play with because she's an absolute asshole um and she needs a companion like my husband and i we really love her and we love playing with her but like she needs a companion because like she's a kitten so she needs another animal to play with, if that makes sense. The last question is, what are you gonna miss most about Indiana? Um, I don't know how to honestly answer that. Like, like I do, I am gonna miss my friends. I already do, clearly, because um, I'm a crazy person and I miss everybody all the time. And why the fuck is my lipstick not coming up? You, know, you want to be an asshole? Okay. I guess we're going to do that then. Probably, yeah, my friends. I'm going to miss my friends a lot. Uh, spooky time. Because <laughs> for some reason, Halloween in Indiana is just the best fucking thing you've ever had in your whole life. And I don't know why. It's just like, it's comforting and homey and you have your friends there and you can go to apple orchards and haunted houses. I don't know, I just, I've always loved Halloween there. I'm gonna miss it. And having Halloween parties, oh bitch. I'm a whore for those. Uh, also probably like the weather. Uh, like, I love where I live now. It's hard to talk about lipstick on at the same time. I'm sorry, I'm trying to miss. Like, where I live now in Virginia, it rains a lot, which I do love, because I do love rain. Um, but in Indiana, I don't know, the sunshine is just different out there. But that's how I feel about literally every state. Okay, sorry about that. My camera decided that it wants to overheat on me again. Um, but the last question is, what do I miss most about Indiana? Obviously my friends. I also said spooky time. Um, I love spooky time in Indiana just because um, 
it's my favorite holiday <laughs> even though it's not considered a holiday it's a holiday to me um, and it's a time that I spend with all my friends we go to apple orchards we go to haunted houses um, we just do a lot of cool stuff together in the month of October so and that and the weather like I like the weather here it rains a lot I do like rain and things like that um, so I like that a lot but um, in Indiana like it's very foresty <laughs> um, I don't know how else to describe it but I don't know I am gonna miss that a little bit in the very last question someone left for me I will keep their name off like I said with everyone else because I don't know if they want me on the internet or not but they said do you miss me uh, yes I miss you I hope you're doing well um, I put that at the very end of the video because <laughs> one makes you watch longer and for two well I just had to make you last sorry <laughs> anyway um, I think uh, you and your significant other are very cute I'm very happy for you um, I've seen you've grown a lot over the years and that makes me really happy <laughs> I'm scared for a minute that um, you weren't going to grow up, so I'm glad to see that you did. Um, and I'm glad to see you're out there succeeding and doing really well. So, um, thank you guys for watching this Get Ready With Me. I'm sorry that I was literally so scatterbrained the whole time. That's who I am. Uh, <laughs> that's what I do. Uh, thank you for watching it. Um, if you guys want me to do more stuff like this in the future, let me know. Um, and let's do a quick... Look at my face. <laughs>